welcome to the introduction to the DBE internship. In this video, I will explain to you the framework of the DBE internship, and I will also give you an introduction to what is expected from you before you even start your internship and during your internship. The overall framework of the DBE internship. You must work at least 20 weeks, and that excludes any holidays you might have during your internship. Which simply means that if you have any holidays through your internship, you just prolong your internship so you make sure you work a minimum of 20 weeks. It's very flexible when you can start your internship. It is a negotiation between you and the company as long as you make sure that you are able to return before the next semester starts. The assignments you must complete throughout your internship, of course, has to be relevant to the, to the GBE education. It's sometimes not that easy to judge whether assignments are relevant to a GBE student or not. So what we recommend is that you discuss it with your supervisor in the specific situations. It's also not that easy to give you some general guidelines as to what can be relevant for GBE student because it's a wide range of assignments which are potentially relevant to you. So the recommendation is to discuss it with your supervisor when you are getting closer to a specific internship and see if the assignments attached to that are relevant to a GBE student. We of course, of course need to have the contract formalized between you as a student, the company and the VIA supervisor and all three parties must sign this contract. We have a templated VIA which you can feel free to use, but it's also allowed to use the template which the company might have. Sometimes the companies prefer to use their own templates for the contracts and that's fine by VIA and the VIA supervisor will make sure that this contract will also cover all the necessary items for you as a student. In the past, interns in Denmark receive very often salary which is approximately 12,000 12, Danish kroners a month. Unfortunately, with the financial crisis, we cannot always expect that anymore. It's up to you and your negotiation skills to make sure that you get this salary. And if that's not the case, then if you are expect if you normally get your SU, then you can also get that during your internship if you do not receive any salary. Throughout your internship you have to turn in for assignments to your VIA supervisor. In the next slide I will describe to you briefly what these four assignments are all about. The first assignment you must turn in to your VIA supervisor is a company presentation. That is, of course, a presentation of the company, but also a presentation of the department you work in. The second assignment you have to turn into your VIA supervisor is a small essay on the expected outcome of your internship. How we normally recommend you to do this is to have a small meeting with your manager where you discuss your expectations and you discuss your manager's expectations to your internship. The reason for this is that if you have discussed your mutual expectations to the internship, then you much more often get a successful internship because then you are heading towards the same goal. After you have had a small meeting with your manager on your where you have discussed your mutual expectations, you will prepare a small paper where you wrote down, write down your expected outcome and send it to your VIA supervisor. Your third assignment you must turn into VIA is your main assignment. That assignment covers the assignment you work most on or the assignment you like the best throughout your internship. We do not, ex not expect for you to write a lot of pages and description of what you have done in this specific assignment, but what we would like you to focus on in the, is the reflections. That is, we would like you to reflect on how have you 
done this assignment? How did you approach it? Will you do it any differently next time you will be faced with a similar assignment in your career? Or did you do it so well that you have some learning points, both good or bad, which you can take into your career and learn from that? Then that's what we would like you to focus on in the main assignment. So the reflections on your main assignment is the headline more than a description of the assignment. Discuss with your VIA supervisor more in detail about the assignment which is interesting for you to write about. The fourth and final assignment you must turn in to VIA is a recommendation letter. You have to ask your manager to compose a recommendation letter at the end of your internship and then this letter must be emailed to your VIA supervisor. The deadlines of all these four assignments you will discuss with your VIA supervisor. It's your responsibility to get an internship and it's not easy, I can assure you. It's hard work and I recommend you to, to get started already now. The sooner the better. We at VIA will of course support you as much as possible. First of all, we have the Career Service Center, CSC, which you find in the hallway at VIA Horsens. The Career Service Center also has a Facebook web page which you can find here, this link which is given here in the presentation. In this web page you will find open position for internships, you will find interesting guidelines to how you prepare an application, a resume, and how you prepare yourself for an internship interview and a lot of other things. So I recommend you to on a regular basis to get updated with the Career Service Center's webpage. That's one support for your internship. Another one, as a GPE student, you are part of the Career Tracking Program and the sessions which are part of the sixth semester career tracking will all be around your preparation for your internship. So take part of these sessions and get very information, very interesting information on how to apply for an internship and get yourself prepared for that. Use your network and your network is also previous DBE students who took their internships in the last year. Even though you don't know them that well, then make sure to look into the Word document which I've sent you as the very start of this semester, where you can find the different companies who have had TBE, turn, TBE interns in the past years. And for just last year, you can also in this Word document find names on the specific students who were TBE, student, TBE interns in different companies in the last autumn. So get in contact with these students, ask them whatever questions you have and hopefully you can gain a lot from that. I'm sure you can. You also have of course your VIA supervisor who you will be assigned to at the beginning of this semester before your internship should be completed. You can always feel free, always feel free to contact your supervisor with whatever questions you have And please do so. Make sure to use your network. Make sure to use the Career Service Center. Make sure to use your supervisor for whatever questions you might have. It's your responsibility to get an internship. Get started now. It's much fun, but it's also hard work. So I wish you all the best and good luck. And I'm looking forward to follow you in your internship period. It's so interesting and a very development, developing semester for you as a student. So have fun and uh, keep up the good work and talk to you later. Bye bye.